I'm Mark Evans. Today's my, my wedding day. It's November 24th, 2017, and I'm marrying the love of my life. Come on, skinny love, just last the year. Uh, my name is Andrew Scalar, and uh, we are in an absolutely stunningly beautiful Phuket, Thailand. Today we will have 75 guests from 10 different countries. I think if we had one hope and everything else, you know, was ruined and something, you know, weather, what, like, who cares? If there's one hope, it was that all these people come together and have a great time. And, and that has already begun happening. So we just couldn't be happier. So our celebrant is our, one of our best girlfriends, Jacinta. Um, she's super warm and loving, and we always go, you know, to her for advice on things, especially when she, she's so good when it comes to relationships and love, and, and she's very, I, I'd say, a spiritual person, just has this great energy. Heart beats fast, colors and promises. How to be Marriage is a coming together of two lives and a celebration of the love of two people. Andrew said, I honestly knew he was the one from that first meeting. In less than 24 hours, I was in love with this vibrant personality and charm. I knew that morning I could marry this man. From the very first date um, through to now and into the future, I get butterflies in my stomach when he gives me a little wink or squeezes my hand at dinner. He is one of these people who just makes you feel, at all times, makes you absolutely feel like you are the most important person in the room. Mark said that one of Andrew's greatest attributes as a person, and one of the many reasons as to why he has chosen to spend his life with him, is because of his generous heart, and that Andrew will do anything for anyone without expecting a thing in return. He's a wonderful human being. He's, he's... He will do anything for anyone. He's just a really caring and compassionate guy. Both Mark and Andrew have also expressed that marriage isn't something they take for granted. Having you know, been an American and seen the battles that people fought for years to get marriage equality in, in, in the United States, um, and then finally we have it, and then to see the Australians going through the same. Um, it's just about everyone having that kind of fair go concept that they have in Australia. Inconscionable to me that anybody would, would deny someone the ability to call the person they love their husband, their wife. Mark, do you have Andrew to be your husband, to live together as a lifelong partner and friend? Do you promise to love him as a person, respect him as an equal, sharing joy as well as sorrow, triumph as well as defeat? I do. Andrew, do you have Mark to be your husband? to live together as a lifelong friend and partner? Do you promise to love him as a person, respect him as an equal, sharing joy as well as sorrow, triumph as well as defeat? I do. Mark and Andrew, it now gives me the greatest joy to pronounce you lifelong partners and husbands. You may kiss. Family and friends, please be upstanding as I present to you husbands, Mark and Andrew. It's now time to celebrate. You need a light. I'd find a match. Cause I love the way you say good morning. And you take me the way I there are there actually there's a number of the the um, our gay friends from Sydney who like have never been to a gay wedding and I think it is a first for a lot of people to do this and what's fun is that a lot of the Australians who are here probably never thought they would be able to get married and here they are at one of their friends's wedding and it's just neat to watch people kind of think oh I could I could do this someday it's pretty cool. Everyone is now welcome to join the newly married couple upstairs for a big group photo and some cocktails with some alcohol in it. <laughs>
everyone comes down. We have our first dance. We have another song that'll kick in with Katy Perry Firework and Boom Fireworks will go. And then finishing up the night, we've got um, some crazy drag queens from Phuket that will come in for a little Beyonce number with Kwong Beyonce, <laughs> which will be rather amusing for my uh, auntie, who I, I'm pretty sure has never seen a drag queen. Or if she has, she didn't know it. Um. <laughs> Put on a pretty damn good wedding, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> 